What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. It was another random matchup against once again Dark Looters uh, and once again was definitely not in our favor uh, but good war nonetheless. Uh, Dark Looters nice to match up uh, against those guys. Uh, they are part of the EWA and stand up group of individuals over there. Uh, so 114 to 107 was the final. Uh, Dark Looters had a substantial Substantial teach 11 account uh, now some of these were I think number six was like a 10.75 I think nine was as well and I'm pretty sure 12 was a 9.75 um, so just kind of a very skewed matching because uh, we had a very pure kind of um, town hall comp right three pure town hall 11s and six I think yeah six town hall 10s so, you know, substantial advantage for these guys. Um, they definitely used it to their advantage and came away with a big, big victory. So congrats, Dark Knights. Uh, good war. If we can meet up on a little more even grounds next time, that would be beautiful. But there are a lot of really nice replays in here. So jump right down to the bottom. Check this out. When I start with your number 30, Chad Fowler. So huge, huge dead zone in this base. Zoom that out. <clears throat> so this is what I was talking about before in my videos. This is like a sort of alleyway, a closed off alleyway. Now, <laughs> still has a lot of very similar negative aspects to your base building because you've pretty much just sectioned off your base into two sides. Now, the problem with that, it's not necessarily a problem, but you really... Oops, sorry about that. Uh, you really need to, um, you really map it out for the attacker is what I'm trying to say. Um, if he can figure out a plan to take care of each of those sections of base, um, he's looking good. So what the idea here is, is to get this queen walk going, everything away from the queen chamber. Once he clears out some stuff, he is going to get the lure out for the CC. Uh, another thing I've been seeing is these very, very easy lures for the CC. I mean... I don't think you need to protect your CC, but I think you need to make it so it's more than one troop space investment. Anyhow, let's watch these Valks attack this queen. Look at this. Boom. Okay. Valks are attacking so quickly now. Um, if you're not Johnny on the spot with your uh, with your walks or your poison or your rage or whatever it is you're doing to take care of the CC troops, uh, you can lose your queen very, very quickly. So just something to keep in mind, guys. So you can see that CC's pulled over to her. Everything's taken care of. Now he's going to come in from the 9 o'clock section with the rest of the kill squad. Jump goes down. Valks go in. Everything's going to go right in onto this queen. Defensive queen is does not stand a chance here with all these Valks coming in. The king in behind. Heal spell goes down, I'm gonna heal everything up. Really just needs to take care of this section of base. Queen is already doing her diligence over here. Now, the only downfall I'd say, Chad, of this attack, I would have already had my hog sent in here because this queen, you could have saved this queen. Um, especially if that rage was down a little bit earlier, you were probably focusing on your kill squad. But it really doesn't matter. Hogs are already in. There is literally an expo, an archer tower, an air defense, and one hit of a Tesla to go. <clears throat> GG for this base. Oh, that coffee is good. I was going to do this recap at like 3 in the morning, and I started it, and then got halfway into this attack. I'm like, uh, nope. Time for bed. <laughs> yeah, tree in the bag for Chad Fowler. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, what else I got here? Number 27... Nammers, nice little six pack here flex for Nammers. So a huge theme of this uh, recap I've noticed is going to be pretty much all some sort of variation of the Govo with these new Valks. Um, Nam, I like this attack because I always think it's interesting when you decide to only bring three healers. I mean... Clearly, you can get away with it, even against Town Hall 9 defenses. Generally, you'll see three healers when you're going against a newer Town Hall 9 or an 8.5, um, just because you don't have to worry as much about the queen. But three healers, like, she's going down quick. Got to burn that ability up. Just going to move along here. Going to walk around this corner. Oop. And open things up. Going to let this queen right into this section here. And she's just going to continue to mop things up. I really like the precision placement on all these minions you dropped at the beginning of the raid as well. 
<clears throat> so Golem goes in. He's going to finish off that funnel. Just got a um, two Golems, I believe. It's one got to be one in the CC there. <clears throat> Surprised he didn't drop both golems. Where is it? Maybe he's got max hogs. Nope, nope. Here comes the max valks. That's right. So has the two valks, max valks in the CC. A lot of guys really opting for that. Uh, for the cold blooded golem here, the giants in there helping out too. Uh, jump spell goes down now. My only critique again of this attack is I would have had a plan to pull out this clan castle over to the queen. Um, he probably, I guess, knew what was in it and knew that the Valks and King and everything could take care of it handily. But uh, it's always a scary moment for me. I don't know when the CC troops come on over to the Valks because they can die so quickly if uh, just the AI doesn't go exactly how you want it. <clears throat> Anyhow, so like you see what I mean? All his Valks are dead now. Um, and I think that was a result of not pulling over the CC. If he had managed, if he had just sent a hog in, yanked that CC over, let the queen deal with it, those Valks would still be in here doing work, in my opinion, of course. I can't really say if that for surely would have happened. But uh, heal spell goes down, taking care of these hogs. They're really, at this point, is only that expo. Really, his last couple defenses at the bottom here to deal with. And he's got hogs coming in at all angles. Queen is now stepping up. Has one healer still to go. She's going to take down that cannon. Really, the last threat. Clean up whiz all over the place. Oh, someone's having a good time. <laughs> Tree in the bag for Nammers. Nice job, buddy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, oh, yes. Number 20. Burt Dog. So this is a uh, straight up queen charge with four healers, Govaho, and a very uh, large amount of Valks. Um, nine Valkyries he's got, so only 12 hogs he's opting for here. To me, I always find that a very scary number. Um, I try and at least have 14 or 15. Even with 14, I'm like, is that going to be enough to get rid of th through the rest of the base? Uh, especially with the time constraints now. On your uh, queen walks and queen charges, you don't have that extra 30 seconds of queen just mopping up the base. And you think about this entry, the amount of time it's now going to take the queen to get through the king and the golem and continue her way up into the base. Uh, there's a big chunk of time already missing. But what Bert does to counteract that is as soon as the, the golem's walking over to the queen, boom, sends in this kill squad. Golem goes in. I don't know if he just didn't bring wall breakers for that on purpose. I didn't check ahead of time, but bust right in through that wall. Look how quickly these buildings go down to these nine Valks. are just shredding things. As soon as they touch them, just boom, boom, boom. Does have a few strays. Got to heal over that Tesla farm, uh, but no big deal. Golem jumps right in there. Queen's now stepping up. They kind of sandwiched off the Tesla farm, which is absolutely perfect. Really only has this bottom section of base. And with this very large dead zone down here, there's only really two little sections, two compartments almost of defenses to go. <clears throat> so sends in just sprinkles in the hogs, right? Few here, few here, few here. Basically two per defense. He's following the kill squad around. Still has saved four now to send in when everything gets over to this bottom chamber. It's got to take through that Tesla. <clears throat> finish off the arch tower down it goes everything's going to move on over to the last chamber alive here with two cannons and an expo in come the four hogs quickly those cannons are going to go down just needs to work on that expo cannon one cannon two see you later everything's going to jump on that expo and down it goes does trigger a bomb but it's not quite enough queen steps up just in time to help out with that expo as well oh geez Someone is just having a great time out there. Mm -mm -mm. Tree in the bag for Burt Dog. All right, 15. I think I'll show you that 9.75 or whatever it is. Um, so this was a pretty nice base. I thought I was looking at it. A uh, little earlier, uh, this is fairly similar to my base designs. Now, what I find with the flaws of my own base designs is uh, the way your walls kind of end up being, it's not symmetrical, but as a general overall shape, it is symmetrical. And I'm trying to get away with this in my base, get away from doing this in my base building that... Um, I really want to make one section very odd, like almost like L-shaped or U-shaped. Um, 
just to really uh, really just add that little extra thought process to someone who's attacking your base. The bases like this, which again are something I build quite frequently, the problem is they're, they're sort of symmetrical and mainly you can control where your jumps go a lot easier you can you, they're very clean jumps you know a jump spell over here gets you into this, the compartments you probably want to um pretty much this whole core any jump over any of these corners it's gonna let you in um anyhow uh that's something that i'm looking for in my base building right now just trying to make it a little bit uglier maybe sectioning some stuff off um and not sacrificing the rest of the base to do so Anyhow, uh, you'll see what I mean. CC's pulled out of the queen. She's taking care of that. Valks are in here. Here comes this jump. Oh, right, exactly where I said, right? So now it's, everything's going to just go into these four compartments. Nice and clean. <clears throat> Valks just got to work their way through this stuff. Bust down that wizard tower. Everything's going to go in. King is going to start working on stuff in that core. Golem takes a bit of a hike here, so that was kind of lame. See, the golem's standing on a wall to get to that mortar, yet there's a jump spell with an air sweeper right beside him. Explain that one, Supercell. Like, really? This Golem is standing here. Jump spell is right here. Sweeper is right there. Sweeper is, in fact, right on top of the jump spell. No reason for that Golem to be there. Whatever. Is what it is. Sets off a bomb. Heal goes down. Oh, just in time. Take care of the, taking care of those hogs. But you can see this base is definitely done for. There's just way too many hogs under the heal. Doesn't stand a chance. Queen's just got to finish off that defensive king. She's going to jump in and help mop things up. <clears throat> again you're telling me that arch tower isn't in range oh my god finally she does turn around but for a few seconds there she was standing there whacking on that wall as soon as that defensive king went down instead of turning it on that arch tower so lame is what it is this is a tree star in the bag for sean nice job buddy i think sean had a six pack too all right I'll just jump in and show you this last one. So this is JJ. So JJ is a brand new Town Hall 10. Does have the five spells. Uh, only really level 30 heroes, though. Uh, does not have max Valks. Does have max Golem. So a uh, very new, new, new Town Hall 10. Going up against this, like, 9.75. No Inferno Towers, but does have a Grand Warden. Obviously, no Eagle. Uh, two level 3 Expos. Here's another little interesting tidbit. Um, I wanted to mention about this hot potato guy. I thought this was a really nice base, actually. Um, I mean, you take away that Grand Warden structure, and it's basically just a Town Hall 9 with some upgraded defenses, like a couple air defense. Um, but this is a very popular thing nowadays, guys, is this double side-by-side -side expos. Uh, that is sort of a, a newer, newer thing. And... Uh, you got to play with it a bit. I mean, it can be very deadly with that extra damage. If you want to stack up damage on a side, uh, that is a very viable thing to do. doesn't hurt to put a bomb in between or a couple spring traps, something like that. Anyways, heal's going down, taking care of JJ's stuff here. Has to hit the queen ability, but she's stepping up now. Everything's moving into the base. He's sent in a bunch of hogs kind of from all different angles. Uh, just pincering everything down into this section. Here we go. So watch these hogs here. Look at this. Oh, no. It's going to be after this whiz tower. I thought this was another little cool thing. I don't know if he planned this pathing exactly, but with this little wall piece, it almost makes me feel like he did. Watch these hogs. These hogs are going to walk over a, a small bomb trap and boom. Big bomb. See you later. Worked perfectly. So um, hot potato. Nice base building, man. I uh, think it's really cool, uh, the 9.75 sort of base. Don't really see a lot of those, but we are nowadays starting to see more and more of that. People are realizing that, you know, you may as well not spend a lot of time in Town Hall 10 uh, just because of the advantage of Town Hall 11. So uh, once you get everything going, doesn't hurt to get that Grand Warden down. Doesn't hurt to, uh, I mean, you might want to wait off a little bit on your Eagle Cannon. If you're a 10, you can just hold off on that Eagle Cannon, get that Grand Warden leveled up. Um, get all your defenses um, going up to Town Hall 11. Then maybe drop your Eagle to get your weight thrown up there. Um, but regardless, you know, I think Town Hall 10, people are really, really not wanting to spend a lot of time there just because of uh, the benefits now that you get at Town Hall 11. But anyhow, base is done. There's that Tesla to go, but it doesn't stand a chance. Boom. Nice job, JJ treat in the bag all right so like i said good war overall i mean we did what we could in my opinion if you look at everything yeah we missed one on that 11 
we missed one on that 11. So I would have made it 109. But realistically, right, uh, with these couple triples in there, uh, twos on everything else, and then cleaned up the board on all the nines, I don't know what else we really could have done. Um, I don't believe we had to use many bullies. Let's just double check that. Facts. Not one bully. Did, did it, did it. Nope. So we didn't have to use one bully attack, which meant we gave our we gave our guys up top all the time and all the all the tools that they needed to do what they needed to do up there. It just is too much, right? It was seven sort of. I mean, we'll call it we'll call it five town hall elevens or six. Yeah, six town hall elevens and one like sort of. 9.75 uh made it very very tricky on us um and then i believe so i mean they did have right so i mean these are the town hall 11 attacks versus our tens see what i mean see this is the benefit of going i mean i guess number two is a full-fledged town hall 11 same with number one but right this number six uh does not have an eagle cannon uh, but has a town hall 11 army right really using that to his advantage against our town hall tens there uh same thing there right so they really really uh use that to their advantage and good for them obviously that's uh to their right in the matchup they do it uh what they uh what they got to do to make the win and uh, they did it really well so good job dark knights just want to check down here and see if uh you had to use any on our nines i guess this number 12 was that 9.75 so this number 12 see right here is it a good example of, of kind of the advantage right grand warden coming in versus town, town hall nines like doesn't really leave us a lot of options number five there bullying uh, bullying frank um number 10 actually a bully on chad number five bully on homestar number 10 bully on mouthpiece <clears throat> excuse me Da, 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 da. Big Kahuna, number seven, another bully. So obviously you can see, guys, a lot of bully attacks needed to clean up our nines. And, uh, yeah, they did it well. So uh, good for them. Came in with a big, big victory. Uh, nice job overall, Dark Knights. Did I call you Dark Looters? I think I called you Dark Looters a few minutes ago. Sorry, it's first thing in the morning. <laughs> My bad if I did that. If I didn't, then great. It's mine. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, my number one fan has now decided to join me here. What did I get? I swear I got bullied. Where am I? I moved up so much to weight. Upgraded my expos and everything. I am basically only have my walls and earthquake to go. Am I blind? Where is my own base? There we are. Yeah, so I got the number 12 bully. Um... You know, uh, tough war, really tough war. You know, uh, for us to come away with the victory here would have been an, an insane failure from the Dark Knight side. And obviously that wasn't going to happen with uh, the quality guys they are over there. So, Dark Knights, thank you for the war. Uh, hopefully, like I said before, uh, we can maybe meet up on uh, even ground next time. That would be beautiful. Uh, you know, Invicta and you guys are both part of the EWA, so I'm sure we can set that up. Anyhow, uh, I was, <laughs> you can see I have my hands full now, so I'm going to call it a day. Hey, hey. Daddy's trying to finish here. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.